Let's start spooky month off right. We'll start a new game. I'm just gonna put my name. Hey, it actually all fits. And a skull because of Halloween. The year is 2035, Japan. Crowds of spectators are gathering around in anticipation of the first full solar eclipse of the 21st century. My name is Soma Cruz, and I'm a high school exchange student studying abroad in Japan. I live near the Hakuba Shrine, an ancient shrine with strong ties to Japanese mythology. Mina Hakuba, the only daughter of the shrine's caretaker, is both my classmate and my childhood friend. I started making my way to the shrine to see the solar eclipse with Mina, but for some strange reason, the stairway leading up to the shrine felt longer than usual as if something was trying to keep us from our destination. When I finally managed to get through the shrine and my sense began to dim, <gasps> the pitch black sun is holding chaotic darkness together, trying to rouse sleeping soul as if it's looking for its missing other half. I had to read that way faster than I anticipated. looks familiar. Oh. Ugh. Hey, looks like he's coming too. Where am I? Whoa! What happened? So you've decided to join us. Did you have a pleasant night? Huh? Who the heck are you? It's okay, Soma. His name's Genya Arikado. Skip the introductions. I have a few questions, and I need answers now. Go, go ahead. Why have you come here? Why? Well, me and I are... Hang on. Where are we? We're in Dracula's castle. Huh? Dracula's castle? Are you telling me we're in Europe? No, we're inside the solar eclipse. Oh, that's... Wait, the solar eclipse suddenly summons Dracula's castle? Uh, I don't... I don't really know anything about Age of Clam and Aeon fans, so I, I honestly couldn't judge it because I still haven't played the original game. Hi, Trob, how are you doing? Inside the eclipse? You're insane! Do you think I'm a fool? Soma, listen to him. He's telling you the truth. What the heck are you talking about? Give me an explanation! Well, it's like this. Huh? An enemy? That's convenient. Damn, protect the girl! Yeah! Go back to where you came from! What was that thing? So it has awakened. What? What has? The spirit of the creature you killed has just entered your body. You have the power to absorb the abilities of the monsters you kill. Why? Why would I have that power? You've gained the power. Now you must go to the master's chamber. For what reason? Do you not wish to return with your friend to your own world? Of course I want to go back! Go to the master's chamber. Then you will understand everything. Wait. Alright. So, okay, let me get this straight. There is a solar eclipse. We walk up some stairs. We end up in Dracula's castle. This random dude who looks suspiciously kind of like Dracula, but younger, is like, Yo, what up, buddy? Uh, seems like you got some cool power that lets you absorb the power of other beings. Why don't you head on over to Dracula's chamber? It'll totally take you home. I don't fucking trust you at all. <laughs> you are absolutely Dracula in disguise. <laughs> 
listen, I wa I read out loud that introduction. I know what I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. But I can't just leave Mina here like this. No need to worry about her. I'll put up a protect protective barrier. Sure you will. But death will most certainly find those who stay here too long. Then I... Yes. Only you can save her from a painful death. Or we could just take her with us. <laughs> we could just take her with us. And you! What will you do? I too have things I must do within these castle walls. Go, set forth. Both your own life and hers are at stake. This is bullshit. <laughs> I have such a tiny knife. Can we get a map percentage? What is soul set? Wing skeleton throws spears. Press up and B to activate. Okay. I'm doing it! And <laughs> you liar! I, oh, I didn't click on it, that's why. Ew, these zombies look nasty. Time to farm experience points. Uh, I have a question. Is there a way to turn off whatever this weird pop-up is that's a two on the side? I don't like it. It's getting out of the way. It's That's really breaking my immersion here. <laughs> That's hella breaking my immersion. Uh. What the hell is the fucking replay? Um, let's see. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Hang on. I. Is this. I. How do. No, I don't want that. <laughs> Two, 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 two. There, okay, that's better. I'm like, yo, listen, this is awful. I don't want it. Thank you, chat. Oh no, that's no. There's no way that's in the original game, Rio. Uh, cause it was literally extending past the Game Boy Advance screen that I have cropped out for y'all to see. I got a tunic. Woo! How did I get a tunic from a guy not wearing a shirt? The mysteries of the RPG, Metroidvania, etc. Anyway, I guess maybe I should like walk forward or something. I got a tunic. <laughs> Can I just like sit here and farm XP by throwing these? I, I mean, I guess I could if I had any mana, whatever. A not crappy knife. Oh, hey, is this 
like, is this version of the castle based on the Symphony of the Night one? Because that immediately looked really familiar. Stab you? Here we go. I mean, I guess it's cool and all like having a helper thing if you want it. I just don't want it. Ow! Oh my god! Okay, do I take damage from water? No, wow, I can swim! Wow. This just in, we're no longer half vampire. We can swim. This, this is weird. <laughs> this is weird. Oh, that fish is angry at me. Oh, we're gonna be super stabby all the time. I mean, that's what playing a video game with the stabbers about, right? Stop floating closer to me so I can stab you. <laughs> play this you were afraid of the water and when battery played symphony of the night he was confused why you took damage in the water because you played symphony of the night first and he played this first <laughs> all right that's hilarious <laughs> i can totally see battery just like chilling jumping in water going why does this hurt me All right, well, we're obviously gonna get something to dive eventually. I also found some tasty meat, so we got that going for us, which is nice. Oh, let's, what was that button that I pressed open the map? Oh, it looks like there's a way to go up too, maybe? I missed that. Who will show up then when the miniatures come out? He actually did find some minis for me fairly. I, I asked him if he, oh, it's right there. I asked him if he could like send me some links to some. He found some Final Fantasy IX ones. Like there's a VV and I kind of want to buy it. I kind of want to paint a VV. Ow, okay, I'm ow, I'm ow. Yeah, uh, B Bill Reigns, there's, um, there's, there's a couple of things that I, I might want to inform you about. One, I don't know if you were here for it, but before I started the game, I did mention that it's my first playthrough and I don't really want any hints, advice, or spoilers. It does say that in the upper right-hand corner, although I know on mobile it's kind of harder to see that. Two, I have played and beaten a Castlevania game before as well as a lot of other Metroidvanias so I, I promise you that I do know things like there are breakable walls <laughs> no worries man all good thank you for understanding if I do because I like to think out loud a lot and I know that confuses people because like people don't people aren't like as strict about spoilers everywhere on switch um or backseating everywhere, so I have like a keyword. I'll yell out, hey chat, before I say something if I want an answer, and otherwise it's just me asking rhetorical questions or thinking out loud. <gasps> Ooh, a skeleton! Also, ow, my spleen! This game has walls. No, it doesn't. Walls are a figment of your imagination. Have no toad. Hey, Lionel, how are y'all doing? Did he by chance do? No, I wish he did. Let's see. 
Okay, so I don't have anything that goes in that slot. I like throwing bones. Throwing bones seems fun. Also, wait a minute. Did that affect my... Okay, those didn't affect my stats, but it does look like that is a thing that is possible where you can get some of those that affect your stats. So that's pretty neat. I like it. I got a dollar. Dollar, dollar makes Soma holler. I can't jump that high. Damn it, Soma, why can't you be Alucard? Whoa, what's this? What are you? Backdash by pressing L. Oh, cool. I guess I got an ability. <laughs> hey, and I leveled. These mermans don't seem as dangerous as they were in Symphony of the Night. At least right now. $10! One dollars. They were too scared to fight me. What's this? Oh, save statue, cool. I get the fire of a uh, robe lady. Also this, at least right now, looks like a dead end, but I kind of am suspicious that will open up eventually. You're good, you just finished Deltarune part two. Oh, I hope you really liked it. I really did. Okay. Oh, you're just excited and a bit jealous. Oh, you wish you could play this for the first time again. I feel the same way about a whole bunch of my favorites, if that's at all helpful. <laughs> but hey, you're more than welcome to enjoy it vicariously through me, because I feel like Watching someone play one of your favorites for the first time is really as close as you can get to playing it for the first time again. Yeah, that's how I feel about every Final Fantasy game now, because I've beaten them all. I hope you like bones. Ow, oh god. Why y'all gonna be the same as the Symphony of the Night dude and be a jerk in a hallway? Oh god, ow, I'm dying! This is fine, everything's fine. I'm a professional. Uh, that door is suspicious! <laughs> I am really suspicious of that door. Ow, what the flip, sir? Heck you! Nah, dude, this door is a- yeah, this door is a trap. It's a boss, okay. No problem. Metroidvania cheese! Woo! Castle map one! Yeah, I killed a skeleton by throwing his son's bones at his head. It's pretty effed up, right? Oh, that's a platform. Okay. Let's see. Where 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 am I going? Where where do I want to go? I actually think I want to go down cuz that's maybe a dead end and there might be stuff. Stuff. Listen, fairly all we did was Tell that boss, welcome to the bone zone, and he died, okay? It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ooh, I got power of bat. Oh God, what is that? 
Ew, why is there an eye scorpion snake? I don't like that at all. I know. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. Hi, Sniffles, how are you doing? Yeah, just keeping those bones in the family. Yeah, it was too much for him. The bone zone was too much. Just went doot doot. Doot doot, motherfucker. And he fell over dead. Let's see. Okay, we don't have any yellow or blue yet. What's, what does the bat do? Attack using supersonic waves. Yeah. I want to attack this fish using supersonic waves. Wow. Okay, actually, that's pretty good. And then Castlevania will change it up on us. I feel like it's only, it only feels broken because it's an AOE ability. Yeah, like Sindel from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Oh, I can't reach that guy. Alright, it's fine. I ran away. I already like the idea of being able to get powers. That seems dope. A skeleton angel. Oh! Hey! Okay, How are you enjoying my favorite Castlevania game? E6, thank you for 10 months! Hi, how are you? And I just started this, I don't know, like maybe 20 minutes ago? But I'm really digging it so far. Oh, okay, that's what I was wondering is if this was a ability. Okay, so how do I... Like a passive? Kind of feels like it. Did it say? I don't know if it said how to use that. How is the back dash? Oh! Okay! I get wingies! Do I miss Alucard? Well, I mean, it's kind of hard not to miss a hot vampire man. Me with a knife. 
Also, after a drug test, I got the job and start in the final week of October. $15 per hour as an ER receptionist at my local hospital. Yo, that's awesome! Andrew, thank you for 33 months and congrats on the job! That's wonderful news. Okay, let me see if I can, like, use my magic wingalings. Cool, I got leather plate. Nice. Actually, I think there's a decent amount of new places we can go with that. Ooh, I got that potion. Hi, Ami. Do you want to sit on my knee, buddy? Hi, XBS. Oh, you beat Harmony and Dissonance last night. Nice! I've actually not played any of the Game Boy Advance Castlevanias, so it's pretty dope that I get to buy the whole collection for $20 and not have to search for them individually online for like $90 a piece. It's really good. I like it a lot. Castlevania you've played and it's a favorite overall. I've heard it's a lot of people's like it's not their favorite game it's like really up there. Wait is Aria of Sorrow the one that has has batteries singing that down and down Play that Castlevania. I should see the clip of him singing that. Oh man, I can't get that one. Maybe there's some secret way. Or probably some really high jump. Well, my friend MIT Battery Leonel played this Castlevania, but he was playing it on the cart, and I guess his cart screwed up or something, and the sound wasn't working. I don't really know the context, but uh, he started making up his own Castlevania music for it. <laughs> That's basically how it went. <laughs> Oh, Symphony of the Night was the first Castlevania you tried to play, and you did not enjoy it, primarily because it felt really hard to you because you hadn't played anything like it before. I mean, that's fair. That's completely fair. Um, one thing that's really nice about Castlevania games, like Symphony of the Night in this one, is that you can level up. So if you're having a hard time with something, that can help a lot. Cheese, 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 cheese. Scar. No, oh, no, 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 no. I want the luck for sure. You're to be honest. You don't think you care to play anything besides Aria, Sorrow, and Lords of Shadow One Plus Two? Well. You know what, Chaos? You can be over there with your wrong opinion. <laughs> That's fine! More hot Alucard all to myself! That's right, Ollie! <laughs> Yo, no, that's totally fine. Wait, what console's Lord of Shadow on? How do I get a copy of it? Looking over at chat, and I didn't realize that there was still an axe coming for my skull. Oh, 
original PS3 slash Xbox 360? Uh, <laughs> I have an Xbox 360. How much is the game? Wait a minute, was, there a, was this a save point over here and I forgot about it? It might be. Oh, that man stabbed me. Because I'm like taking way too much damage here and I need to heal. No, I guess it was just this. Oh, well there is a save room down here. What is man? A miserable pile of secrets! Now have at you! That's right, Ollie. Thank you, Random Socks, for 45 heckin' months. Welcome back, I appreciate that. How are you doing today? Hi, Taco, how are you? Story XPS. Uh, my Xbox 360 is the only Xbox I own. <laughs> I literally don't have <laughs> either of the uh, more recent generations of Xbox because I just never got around to buying an Xbox One, and then I there weren't any games in the previous, like most recent generation that I wanted. Great. I'm glad to hear that, Random Socks. Hi, Neil. How are you? Yeah, this collection is four games, I think. I think it was four, right? Oh! Oh, it's on Steam. Cool. Well, that's even better. She is sitting on my knee. Yeah, she's right here on my knee. <laughs> yeah, isn't that right, buddy? Do you want to come be in the camera a little? You want to be in the camera? Yeah, show everybody how cute you are. She wanted to sit here. She wanted to be the star of the show. Sorry if her squeaks are a little extra loud at the moment, though. X got an Xbox, uh, or got a GBA release, sorry, but it's, it's on here. Oh, it is the Super Nintendo version. Yeah, I was like, I don't really know why this one's here, because I don't remember it being there. <laughs> Hi, Ollie. Oh my goodness, she really wants some attention. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do, don't you? Hey, Agathos, how are you doing? Yeah, I guess maybe because it wasn't in the last collection and they had gotten the rights to it more. Maybe they got the rights to it more recently and they were like, well, let's throw this in here because it wasn't in there before and we're not going to sell Dracula X by itself. <laughs> it always too cute. It's illegal. It is. You're, you are illegally cute, Ollie. Nah, she doesn't nibble that hard. Uh, let's see. I think, was I going, was I going this way? I think I was going this way. Oh 
Oh my god, this window's open. Oh wait, no, it's... Wait, it is open! What? Why is this window... Why is this opening and closing? I hate that. I hate it. Atmosphere. The castle is haunted. Burn it down. Burn it! I mean, we honestly probably should have burned down Dracula's castle a really long time ago. Why didn't anyone think of that? You still complain? Oh! Oh, I see. You still enjoy Dracula X for what it is. And we'll never complain about a bonus game. Yeah, I'm like, I mean, hey, if they're gonna give it to me for free. Phasmophobia expert mode map, Dracula's castle. No. No, 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 no. I don't freaking think so. I don't want to die. I walked right into that bone. Right after saying that I didn't want to die. Welcome to the bone zone, Soma. Let's burn down this castle that lives inside an eclipse. I mean, sure it lives in an eclipse and therefore it probably must be really resistant to fire and heat. But you know what? This is a video game. We can go with just pure nonsense. Isn't that right, Ollie? games you're getting this collection treat me you want wario land one through four that would be awesome oh no i want to sword i want to sword i want it i want the sword 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 i can't have it only i can't have the sword and i'm upset i want it i want the sword <laughs> I cannot get you, sword. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Talking about the current state of Konami just makes me sad, so I don't wanna. <laughs> Wait, who, what's Proto Man? Sorry, all I can think of is Protoss, and that's not a thing that exists in this world. <laughs> oh yeah, the DS collection would be cool. I never got a chance to play them either. Uh, yeah, I just don't know how they would approach doing it with the dual screen. I don't know. I don't know. Deadly. I am looking forward to Brian teaching me how to play Mega Man 2, though. That startled me. Ollie, do you need to go back? Yeah. That, that startled me, If chaos. Steam won't <laughs> let me gift Lords of Shadow 1 and 2 to you, we'll just have to have you grab it yourself. Fight me, Valve. Bard heck. Or, or fight me? Can Valve fight us? That would be fun. Thank you, Chaos, for the $20 tip. I appreciate that. I'm sorry that seems being a butt about it. I'm 
Nah, I don't, I think that if you sat down and watched me try to play a StarCraft Warrior, after about, I don't know, five seconds, you would realize that I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> it would just be me dying slowly over and over again, not really getting any better because I get too distracted to do any of the micromanagement properly. You look forward to Castlevania, Tango of Intrusive Thoughts. No, Jay. I don't want Castlevania Millennial Edition. I also, I can't think of the last time I tried to play StarCraft. Who are you? That's what it says. It's 2035. <laughs> Castlevania, Waltz of Anxiety. <laughs> Castlevania, Hoedown of Horror. <laughs> uh, Castlevania, Ballad of Existential Crisis. <laughs> Uh, hello? You're human, aren't you? Relax, my name is Graham. Let's just say I'm a missionary. Oh, I'm, uh, hey. Soma? Ten months of being a bard? Heck, it feels longer than that bard jam. <laughs> I'm, uh, egg? <laughs> of constipation. <laughs> I think that might have been my band in high school, Fish. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I didn't hear my choice. Waltz of anxiety, that one got you. <laughs> well, I mean, it's Trump's fault, really. It's Trump's fault that he voiced Soma Cruz this way, and now it's just in my head and I can't escape it. And I'm like, well, I might as well just infect other people with this. I'm, I'm Soma. Soma Cruz. You weren't here in the shrine before, were you? How did you get here? <laughs> into space because you have too many things on your plate and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Castlevania and the laying face down on the bed instead of doing all of the things you're supposed to do. <laughs> perfect time to use the what is a man BTTV emote. <laughs> Thank you, E6. Interpretive dance of Ludo narrative dissonance. <laughs> Castlevania jazz hands of free filling <laughs> prescriptions <laughs> for your mental health. <laughs> Castlevania, over 
literature of sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> <laughs> Egg! Have a lone look. Ooh, okay, I'm in I'm in pain from laughing now. <laughs> Logs, well, thank you for 38 months. Welcome back, you enjoy your learn friend. Don't worry, everything's fine. I'm not sure. I went through the shrine gate and boom! I was here. I see. Uh, can I ask you a question? Go ahead, I don't mind. Is it true that this is Dracula's castle? It most certainly is. But isn't Dracula's castle in Europe somewhere? In theory, yes. But his true castle exists somewhere else. His true castle? Yes, it's a well-known fact in the underworld. Do you believe in vampires? Well, uh, no! I thought the story of Dracula was made up, actually! No, it's all true. It was leaked to the outside world. Usually the church handles these things with utmost secrecy. Over the course of time, Dracula has resurrected many times. When people lost faith, and craved chaos and destruction. So... You try to tell me now that Dracula's been resurrected? No. Dracula perished in 1999. Really now? the 1700s. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Symphony of the... I looked. Castlevania Symphony of the Night came out in 1996, but it, it was... Set in 1797. Castlevania, Orchestra of Planned Obsolescence. <laughs> oh, that's what happened in Y2K. It just killed Dracula. Dracula's the only person who forgot to set all of his clocks back. <laughs> you know of the prophecy of 1999, don't you? Yeah, Y2K. We were just talking about it. Nostradamus's great prophecy! That's right. Dracula was resurrected exactly as he predicted. But vampire hunters destroyed him completely. They ended his regeneration cycle by sealing his castle. The symbol of his demonic power inside the darkness of an eclipse. And that eclipse is where we are now. Yes, but there's still more to the story. There's more! In the year 2035, a new master will come to the castle, and he will inherit all of Dracula's powers. But that's... Yes, that time is now! I'd better get going. Is that all, then? Uh, yes? Thank you? Farewell, and be careful. Yeah, you, you too, buddy. <laughs> Nothing suspicious about that conversation whatsoever! Ha ha ha! Time to go around being so I'm a cruise! Look at me! My name's Soma, and I'm not suspicious of being the reincarnation of Dracula at all! Ha! I got a brain! Egg! 
Is it a total eclipse of the heart? Total eclipse of the heart! Stack, thank you for 11 months! Welcome back, hi! Also, I got a ghost spirit! Not the sharpest bulb in the door. <laughs> for whacking a pile of bones. Sounds like a good deal. It seems like everyone, so far everyone I have heard of voices Silva is like a bro surfer dude. So that's gotta be canon, right? That's gotta be. <laughs> At this point, there's no other. That's just what he is. Whoa! I can't believe that this guy said that this is the year that some new guy is supposed to come to Dracula's castle and like... I don't know, man. Be like the new master or whatever and get all his powers? That sounds crazy. Well, it's totally not me. Goodbye. All right, so there are a few items up there that I can't actually get to yet. Uh, so let's just go this way. Whoa, that's a big guy. No. Back it up. Back it up. Backing up. Backing up. It just looks similar. I was like, is this the same freaking place I just was? Uh, that lady is all swords and it kind of looked like no head. It looked like she had no head. I will stab you. That's what she said. Awesome, kind of low health. Oh, 
Oh my god. I'm getting wombo comboed by myself. stuck down here. I'm gonna have to go back around. Ow! Oh my god! No! Stab it! Stab me, lady! No! Don't freaking kill me, please. I- You stink poopy bot farts. Well, there goes that yellow soul that I found. all my progress now that's Castlevania <laughs> I'm not going through all this dialogue again <laughs> hi Trudis how are you doing today by the way Okay, I mean, if I could save at any time, then I just, I don't know. That's okay, it's funnier this way. Because, I mean, to be fair, I absolutely, like, if I, if I could have afforded to buy the cart for this game, I would have just done that and played it on my Game Boy Player. Also, I'm not gonna bother going upstairs because it turns out I can't get anything from there anyway. The only thing I'm really sad about is losing the yellow soul that I found. But, I mean, I'll find another one. It's okay. I mean, once you've felt the pain of Nuzlocke and running into a member of Team Rocket that has not one, but two legendary Pokemon, including effing Mewtwo. I don't think there's much that can affect you anymore. Okay, that's just, all right. Got it. Also, out of curiosity though, is there like a save point around here? I feel like there should be. There totally was. That's hilarious. Well, now I know. Oops. I keep accidentally hitting the, the trigger button, so. I have heard that Simon's Quest is really, really difficult, but if you have a guide, it's actually really fun. bad that I kind of want to see if I can get that yellow soul back. <laughs> oh, oh, you're still not feeling well, Trump? I hope you feel better soon. You go get some rest. I mean, there's always going to be the VOD. There's always the VOD. I mean, I don't know about all yellow souls. Granted, I don't know how many there are. Nobody tell me. <laughs> I don't know the drop chance either. Nobody tell me. I'm more like, dude, now I know that this guy drops one and I had it before. And now I, I want to get it again. Yeah, that's what I've heard, Squeeze. It's like, unless you actually know that, for example, the NPCs are lying to you, <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to finish the game where you don't know the NPCs are lying to you and you don't know where to go and what to do. But like, yeah, once you actually know what you're supposed to be doing, I've heard it's not too bad. Oh, 
cool. I got a different soul. Ooh! Provides a protective barrier. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. I'm gonna go with... Oh, wow. This one costs 18, but it sounds really cool. I feel like... I don't know if I want to use the giant ghost one right now, but that'll be really useful against, like, bosses. That'll be so useful against bosses. I'm gonna go save, since we did get two souls. Oh, there's a ROM hack of Simon's Quest that makes the dialogue less garbage and adds some other quality of life improvements that are just fixes the originals should have had. Fair enough. So I'm trying to scoot in so y'all can see adorable bird buddy at the same time. Oh, cool! It's a cone of blades. I've actually, I never called the Nintendo Power Hotline, but I also didn't have any money, so. <laughs> that was neat. I don't know what he's saying, but. Just want you. Yeah! Thank you. That's all I wanted. I just wanted the plus strength. Give me the strength. Give me the strength. Oh, I love stuff like this, Saru, because you never know what you're going to get when it's your first time playing. So it's so much fun getting to experiment with everything. Owie. Ow. <laughs> Berries landmines throughout its turf, okay? Weird, but I'll take it. boss fight. Neat. I love boss fight. Oh god. Poison. Ow! to this fight than you letting me stand here, right? Can I can I cheese you by standing here? No, okay. I feel like I probably don't want to use up all my special power stuff then. Sounds good. I won't waste it all this time. And we'll put on protected barrier. Oh yeah, that's a manticore. Galaxy Geek, I'm enjoying this so far. How are you? Hi, Faye! Happy best month! Ollie says happy best month, too. I read it just on a blue. Oh, wait, I was supposed to go further down. Hang on a second. Yeah? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, when's 
tech, y'all. I'm grabbing the heater for angry trees, cause it's good and cold outside. Also, yo, our freaking y'all know how, I think, if you remember last year, we had to like emergency go buy a second space heater when it got super cold here. Um, that heater we bought last year is broken now. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> yeah, it lasted a whole heckin' year, yay! So now we have to buy another one. We, we have one, which is okay right now, but once the cold front starts to really come in, we're gonna need another one. Oh, what did I do? There it is. I was like, what the heck did I do with my controller? It's over here! Oh my god, now I'm just thinking about how old AOL is. Well, the dumb things are is it wasn't like a super cheapo one. Like, it, it was a pretty stable looking heater and I just don't, I don't know why it hacked out. I don't know why, I don't know why it was so bad. Okay, this doesn't even do anything? This protective barrier is, uh, bullshit? That didn't do anything. That literally didn't prevent damage. That didn't prevent damage. I don't know, there were definitely some fireballs that got through. Selectively protective barrier. Man, that sounds... That sounds awful. Uh, anyway... Oh my god. Ollie, this is very difficult to do with you yelling in my ear. Seems a little unfair. Seems a little unfair for you to scream in my uh, in my eardrum while I'm trying to play. Now my ear hurts. Maybe it worked at the beginning and then stopped working. I'll try it again. It just didn't, maybe you have to like reactivate it. I don't know. Thank you, Wally. That's my ear. That hurts. Could you not do that, please? I love you. Please stop yelling in my ear. Hi. What is it? Do you just want to sit on my knee more? <laughs> I think she literally just wants to sit on my knee. You just want to sit here? Yeah? You want to play with me? Ollie wants the front row seat.
Interesting. Okay. Apparently, I guess it like reflects a few and then stops. That's weird, but I'll take it. <laughs> Oakley dokley I don't know what that thing was that I picked up, but... I'll take it. That's pretty neat, actually. So, yeah, apparently that uh, maybe reflects a few things. I don't know how to tell what it reflects, but... Oh, good! Now there's this guy. Just hanging out here. Alright, you got. Okay, bye. I'm gone. No! The worst enemy in any Castlevania game. I freaking hate it. Hate you, Flea Man. Copper plate. Soma cruising for a bruising. Zombie officer. Okay, you look. Ow, you look deadly. Can I? Can I like buy you a beer? Okay, I think this goes into a different part of the castle then. Yep, the study. Uh, honestly, I'd really like to save. <laughs> Saving sounds nice. get to whatever the heck's over there. Um, there's a bunch of uppy that I didn't uh, explore. Oh my god. I got another bat soul. Do quick saves though. I want to play like I'm actually playing on the GBA. Probably means I should just go this way. what you can step on, but on another, it's not. Yay! Saved! Alright. No, no panic. Now we can die and it doesn't matter. Yay! Let's see... Okay, yeah. Let's, I guess, go to the new area. 
There's probably other stuff that I can explore back in the other sections, but I want to wait until I have more powers first. Yeah, the rock guy is definitely a lot harder when you don't have room to dodge them. Also, is it just me, or does it look like Soma is wearing flare jeans? Like, do those come back in 2035? Yeah, I guess I only have to wait, like, 14 years to find out. So where are they getting all these rocks from? <laughs> Imagine doing all these jumps in jeans. Soma Cruise is serious business. We're all rocks are born. Just rocking out. Isn't that right, Ollie? Yeah. Oh my. Oh my. You once did a running endurance test in school with heavy winter pants on because you forgot that it was PE day indoors. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, look! A uh, friendly witch? Oh my god, she throws cats. She throws cats. Ooh, a sword. That is significantly better than the sword I'm using. Oh my god, I have range! <gasps> Y'all, I have a range! Oh my god! I can hit things at a normal length. Thank fucking pizza. I'm so happy. <laughs> I also don't- I don't know if I can make it up here. Ugh. No, I can't make it. Ugh. I'm too short. You're too short, Soma! We gotta go back. Yo, also sent! Thank you for redeeming! Give Ollie a treat! She looked right up at me. Holly, do you want a treat? Do you want a nut? You want a nut? She's sitting on my knee, um, on one foot right now, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. You gonna make some room? <laughs> you want a nut, Holly? Yeah? <gasps> yes, she does. She absolutely does. Okay, I'm gonna grab her a treat real quick. And she'll eat it with this very fitting music. Okay. <laughs> okay, Allie, I have to go get it though. I have to go get it. Uh -huh. You want a nut? Yes. <laughs> she do. 
thank you, Scent, for spending your crystals on the glorious Ollie. I know she super appreciates it. Look at that cutie. today. I think something's weird with the driver. Or maybe it's haunted because it's October again. Didn't that happen last year in October? Ollie's webcam was like haunted? <laughs> I'm not even making this up. It just happens. Hey Doomwave. Oh yeah, and when I played um, Dead Space 2, my, my graphics card was haunted. By the way, hey chat, how many of you would like to see me play through Dead Space again? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> Ollie definitely enjoyed that. Thank you, Sin. Kill that guy. Ow. Does that guy have a bag on his head? Evil butcher. Yeah, yeah, last year I was playing Insul Dawn for Halloween. It was fun. I really enjoyed it till dawn. No such thing as too many Dead Space playthroughs. I agree. I agree. I'm trying to remember when what what was the year that I played Dead Space? Was that 2017? Twenty eighteen? I'm really not sure. I can't remember. Are they coming up with another quality horror game this year? Um like anyone in specific for us? That, that you're wondering about? I mean, I'm sure there's probably lots of cool horror games coming out this year. I'm like, just barely too short to use this box. I mean, yeah, Metroid Dread's coming out. There will be Metroid Dread. broken a bit. Oh, no! Come on! Soma! You stink! Seriously? I literally just barely can't jump onto this.
What the F, Soma? You're the worst. <laughs> we need double jump, I guess. I'll beat the game one day. Wait, which one? Wait, you mean this game, Galaxy Geek? No, I won't. Oh god, that lady has spider legs and boobs. I... No, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 I don't want to be cursed. No touch. Oh, Metroid Dread? I'm not gonna beat that in a day. I don't even know why I would want to do that in a first playthrough. That honestly sounds awful because I would either have to speed run through the game so much that I would miss half of the good content, or I would have to stay up and stream for like 20 hours and be exhausted and miserable. So I think I'll just instead choose to enjoy it at my own pace. No! I said don't curse me! Rude. Oh, is that all that did chaos? I was definitely expecting the curse to be way worse. Because in Symphony of the Night, getting cursed is freaking horrible. You can't use, like, anything. Either it's random or they changed it with this. Interesting. I know, right? The the audacity of me, fairly. <laughs> Castlevania and the audacity of this bitch. Hey, you're Soma, aren't you? You must be him. Y yeah, but uh, who are you? Oh, forgive me. I'm Yoko Bellinades. I'm a member of the church. How would a member of the church recognize me? You've met Aluka, I mean, Genya, Arakado, right? <laughs> wow! Subtle. <laughs> Smooth, Yoko! <laughs> You've met, definitely not the hot, attractive son of Dracula. Hi, <laughs> Weepa. I'm glad you enjoy my Soma voice, thank you. One of my friends voiced Soma like that in the extremely brief moments that I watched him play this, and so I decided to continue on the tradition. I did meet him, but... He told me about you and asked me to help you if you were in trouble. Ricardo said that. That's hard to believe. Well, he may seem cold at first, but he's actually quite a decent guy. He may be looking out for you because you share the same dark powers. Wait, wait. Did you say my powers are dark? Oh, you mean you didn't know that? Uh... Oh, no. Did I say something... Well... Uh... What's said is said. Essentially, you have the power to rule over and command monsters. Rule over monsters? I have no desire to do that. It comes as naturally as breathing for you, so you may not realize it yet. And though I called it a dark power, that doesn't mean it's evil. It's like a weapon. Its user decides whether to use it for good or evil. Well, when you put it that way, I feel a little better. 
Since I got this power, I began to lose my sense of self. I've been in this video game for approximately an hour, and I am already losing track of myself as a human being. You are yourself. There's no one else you could be. Don't second guess yourself. Be confident. That's most important. I think I understand now. Thanks, Yoko. <laughs> I'm not used to being thanked by people. Oh, I forgot to ask you. Have you seen a man named Graham? Graham? Uh, yeah, good old Graham Crackers, my good buddy. I met him earlier. Be wary of that man. I believe that he will inherit Dracula's powers. No way! He didn't look like a bad guy! Not that I know anything since I'm like 16. I don't know what evil really looks like because I don't understand the complexities of human nature yet. Ha ha ha! My brain's not even fully developed yet because it doesn't fully develop the frontal lobe until I'm 25! Good thing the whole universe is in my hands! Right, and I've got a bridge to sell you. Don't be fooled by his appearance. He's not who you think he is. What? You have a bridge in your pocket? Where? <laughs> All right. Well, I must be going. I've got to find Graham. See you around. Well, he's in high school. They mentioned in the intro he's in high school. How many Castlevania games have I played? I've beaten Symphony of the Night. I 200.6% of the map in that. And I've played Castlevania 2 for about 10 minutes total. So actually, this is the second time I'm really playing a Castlevania game. Oh, that does not look right. Oh God! Mm. I really need to find a save room. a good idea. Let's see, was it... Yeah, it's this way that I didn't go. Ah, yes. Okay, I was like, this looks like a place that would probably be a save room. <laughs> I know from Metroidvania map structure that this is the room most likely to be a safe point. <laughs> okay, stop standing on top of me so that I can't hit you. Thank you. But no, really, really, like, your, your frontal lobe isn't fully developed until you reach the age of 25. And that's a part of your brain that helps you empathize with others and also helps you make the right decision when the wrong one is a lot easier. That helps you look at two things and go, hmm, uh, I could, like, let's say, you're walking down the street and there's a guy, he walks past you, you see him clearly drop his wallet and not notice. The frontal lobe is the part of your brain that would tell you when you sit there and go, okay, well he dropped his wallet, there's money in here. I can either take this dude's money, which would be really easy and then I could buy myself something cool, or I could return this guy's wallet. The frontal lobe is the part of your brain that develops to tell you, well, even though taking a guy's money is technically an easier thing that would benefit you personally because you could go buy cool stuff, the right thing to do is to return the guy's wallet because maybe he needs that money. <laughs> like... Yeah, 
lets your frontal lobe. And there are actually things that can prevent that from developing as well in a person. Like head trauma. Oh boy, that is a boss door. Oh, he's just guarding. Cool. That's great. <laughs> Hit him in the ankles! Hi, hi, Ollie. Hi. 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 Can I help you? Are you trying to chew my keyboard? <laughs> Who's this dude? <laughs> he still the same, how are you? Also, yeah, I literally just like walked in some like 18 year old kid in jeans, like flare jeans from the 90s, and I just came in and stabbed him in the chew like 50 times. Oh, what's a child like yourself doing in a place like this? A child? You're rude, Grandpa! Oh, my apologies. My name's Hammer. The army ordered me to come here. Hi, I'm Soma! I thought I was expecting a shrine, but suddenly I was in a castle. Don't you think that's a mean thing to do to a guy? So I just bailed on my mission. Oh. Okay, so you just did, all right, you just abandoned, that's great. What do you mean? There were a bunch of strange people gathered at the shrine. I thought they'd be good customers, so I opened up a shop. Uh, good for you? There are weapons all over the castle and no monsters at the front gate. Good place for a shop. Come on by. I'll give you a good deal. See you around. <laughs> Why can't you just sell me things here? A shop, huh? I don't get it. I'm 18 and I've never heard of shopping. My mom does all the shopping for me. She doesn't let me go outside. Oh, oh my god, I just got stabbed. Why is Soma just you? Soma's all of us, fairly. There's Soma, him, and all of us.
I mean, I guess it could be Digimon. Could anything be Digimon if you think about it that way, Chaos? Ooh, a whip sword. An extendable sword! Oh! Okay, that's sick. That probably attacks a lot slower, but yo, that's really cool. I'm using that! I'm using that! Hey, come on. Also, that was a neat trick having to like backslide through that guy's mouth. <laughs> that sounds wrong! Nope, just Castlevania things. It really doesn't green lanyard. Then again, I have spent the past six years of my life streaming five days a week doing goofy voices for characters in RPGs, so that might be why. Uh, let's see, I wanted to come save over here. Saving the game, ba da ba do ba da pow. Um, I guess we'll go down. Reverse Uppy. Let go. At least 16 of them. Oh man, I can't. I can't go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need some kind of slidey thing for that. Got it. All right, which means basically I just I need to go explore around and see where I can use double jumps, which is quite a few places if I recall correctly. I remember there being quite a few places that needed me to be able to do a double jump to get to. Gross. Hi, Dem. How are you doing? More fall. Wait, that's the wrong Metroidvania. Are you sure? When does Samus <laughs> When does Samus show up in this game? I'm so confused. I'm looking for a lady in a spacesuit with a gun. Should we put up lots and found posters? Oh, I can actually move that box and pick up whatever that sword is. Mm, I don't think so, Majin. That doesn't sound right. Oh, you got the amiibo! Nice! That's exciting! Broadsword. <laughs> Looking for a lady in spacesuit with a gun. Gets high school nobody doing acrobatics and <laughs> jeans. Okay, the broadsword. Let's see. Oh. I mean, that's also pretty great. Yeah, no, I, I want that instead. Gotta get that arc. <laughs> Gotta get that arc, de lad. All right, Metroid the Space Bounty Hunter. Got it. Ooh, heart pendant. A heart-shaped pendant. I'll take it. 
That increases my luck and my defense. In my heart shaped box! Cause I'm so much and I'm emo! Wow, alright, that's really handy for these. Slashy, slashy! Little Soma gonna bashy! Alright, I don't know why, but this suddenly made me really want to play Diablo. <laughs> I feel like it's very possible that I might accidentally end up spending all of October just playing spooky themed video games. See if I go that way. Oh yeah, there is another doorway over there that I haven't been to. I think I need a double jump for. Her. Dude, a Castlevania Diablo like would be cool. Yeah, Diablo 2 had a remaster. I haven't played it yet. And I do I actually do have the um I have Diablo 2 because I still, I actually had our original CD case code Astrals, so I entered it in my Battle.net account years and years ago. <gasps> A hammer? Your standard hammer. Soma goes bonk. Soma goes bonk. That's it. I'm getting me mallet. Yeah, the hammer sound effects really goofy. <laughs> I like it though. It's funny. Okay, that was worth. So we like went and got a broadsword and we immediately replaced it with a hammer. So Mallet has arrived. So Mally. I feel like that zombie officer probably drops a yellow soul considering how tough he is. Yeah, I like the overhead arc ones. They're really nice. Stop! Hammer time! Whoop, 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 whoop. It would be nice to have a kind of nearby save point, though, that I could restore things. Oh, I do have that version, Astral. Um, I do have the original Diablo with the GOG thing. Oh, okay, uh, let's see, can I? Hmm, okay, so you can double jump with that. Good to know. Yeah, nice. Oh, there's another one right here. Skellies. What a zombie man. Oh god, he fell on my head! That's freaking rude! <laughs> Yikes, this place looks not great. Uh... Like, they don't even do any damage, they're just annoying. I say soaring, how are you doing? Ow, okay, so I can't do two swings with those guys. 
have to do one and then back off. The hammer swing is cute because Chad is cute. Oh no, these are dancing people. Uh, oh, I was like, yo, that's definitely an enemy. It's definitely an enemy chilling there. Anti-venom, cool. Hi, Hamas, how are you doing today? Although I gotta admit, um, I feel like the buttons are off still. I feel like A, should be attack and B should be jump. Did can I like change the buttons? Does anyone know? Hey chat, if I can like change the buttons in this version of the game. It's like kind of hurting my my thumb a little bit with the place that the button orientation is to hit B so much. I'm gonna. Check. Yeah, there's a control settings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that to be attack cancel, and I want this to be jump. Oh, that's better. Yeah, this is on the Switch, Saru. I actually just, I just bought this today, but it got announced. What, like a couple of days ago? Oh, the original also had a section in the menu that let you customize all the buttons. Cool. Hey, I found a magic door! Does reverse things for the menu though, which is a little confusing. <laughs> yeah, these are the ones on the Game Boy Advance. Hey, Hammer's here now. Howdy there. Oh wait, howdy. Now I'm like, should he should he be southern or from Jersey? I don't know. Is this where you've opened your shop? Born in Jersey, migrated south. Yeah! Yeah it is! By the way, that cute young lady over there. She's Stan of you. Is she a friend? Yeah. Whoa. I had no idea you were so popular with the ladies. Hey, it's not like that. Don't be shy now, you hear? It's good to be young. It's a good thing. Alrighty, back to business. Take a look around, friend. I believe this is the part where my good friend Tropical Freeze 21 found out that this game has guns. Proceeded to sell everything and then bought a gun and discovered it was garbage. <laughs> Which I got to admit, I definitely would be doing the same thing if I didn't already know that. So I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad that I saw that. It turns out the gun sucks, so I don't spend all my money on it. I want that. I mean, I kind of already have the best of that. Ooh. That seems good, though. But I don't have enough money.
Welcome back, Soma. Hey! What? That man over there. Who? You mean Hammer? His name's Hammer, huh? Don't you think he's a little scary? No, I think he's a decent guy. Even though I just met him and he immediately was kind of creepy and then said to come buy stuff from him at the front of the castle. But look at all those weapons he has over there. He told me he was opening up his own shop. Here? He's opening a shop in this castle. He's weird. Yeah, it's pretty strange. But if you say he's a good guy, I'll believe you. <laughs> okay. I don't know why she believes us, but sure. I can see what's up here, though. Dude, I don't know why, but, like, my my thumb's actually, like, kind of hurting from playing. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna put on one of my gloveys. First name, MC. MC squared hammer. Well, I guess that's what I mean, Squeege, is he, like, was expecting the gun to be awesome, and then it was kind of a disappointment because it... Yeah, it's fast, but, you know, weak, and he, like, sold everything he had to buy it. <laughs> you must be my lucky charm. Ooh, much luck. Very, yes. Definitely equipping that. All right, we obviously need the power of fog for that. Okay, well, we found Hammer's shop and a teleporter that brings us back to the beginning of the entire castle, so that's pretty cool. I also wanna go explore the rest of that room that it's in. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fair, though, that, that they made it more, like, niche useful, kind of. Because, I mean, if you think about it, if the gun was just super OP, that'd be kind of bad. Yeah, there's basically this whole up section for me to take a look at. I feel like there's gotta be some stuff up here. Oh, like a marionette doll, hi! Oh, it's a killer doll! <laughs> That's what they sounded like in Symphony of the Night and I hated it. God, these zombos are jerks. <laughs> we move so slow with the hammer. That's the only downside, really. doesn't have a very good range though so I don't know if I'm going to want to punch things in a Castlevania game you were summoned out of phone bed lurk to remind me to buy the gun no matter the cost no trop I'm not sacrificing all of my weapons to buy the gun <laughs> you'd punch Dracula just to say you did it I mean, that's fair. That's actually a really good point. Okay, actually, you know what? Our fist doesn't have that bad of a range. Oh, 
punch Dracula into the sun. Now, 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 now. I mean, to be fair, Hamas, I think. If we're like comparing Soma to Alucard, Alucard was a tall, mysterious, hot vampire. Soma is a um, jean wearing high school student. <laughs> so I think it makes sense his attacks look a little different. <laughs> Would that even be a good idea? That doesn't seem very smart. I don't think I would punch King Kong. I think he would kick my ass. by cavalry soldiers. I'm guessing it's a long stabby. Oh. That's cool, but it's also really slow. Nah, I'll go back to punching. A kind of slow pokey. <laughs> Is that how you call everyone a slow poke? You actually just poke them with a really slow moving lance? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised, E6. Um, I'm pretty sure not in Symphony of the Night. They also drop a pretty good weapon. Like, I think it's like the Bloody Knife or something. to get down? Hey. You look suspiciously like a Belmont. <laughs> Strange. I sense a dark power within you. Who are you? It's rude to ask questions before introducing yourself. Yes, you're right. I can't give you my name, but people call me Jay. Jack, is that you? Are you in my Castlevania game? That doesn't even make sense. You're like 14. Are you even allowed to play Castlevania? People call you Jay? Why hide your real name? Are you a criminal? <laughs> no, I have amnesia. <laughs> Amnesia. I'm told I was in an accident in 1999. When I woke up in the hospital, I had forgotten my name and my past. Oh, I see. Well, my name's Soma. Your dark power. 
Were you born with it? I don't really know. I first noticed it when I entered this castle. I see. I guess I was mistaken. Mr. J, why have you come to this castle? Call me J. I'm filled with fear when I hear the name Dracula. I came here because of a prophecy. I also thought my memory might return. In fact, since my arrival, I have felt like my memory's returning. And your accident occurred in 1999? Maybe Dracula was involved? I fear you are correct. Especially since I have magical powers. Jay, are you an exorcist? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm making someone just like <laughs> ask questions like a toddler. <laughs> yeah, next time y'all see Jack Mango, ask him if he's an exorcist. <laughs> oh, it, it actually, like, it doesn't bother me at all, XPS. Like, I'm having a good time. I was fully expecting the story to be absolute cheese. Because Symphony of the Night story, a lot of it is really cheesy too, but I still love it. Well, you might say that, but I work for no one but myself. I must be going now. I'm sure we'll meet again. Yeah, see ya! I wonder if I should have asked that guy to dance with us. Okay, as cool as that is. I feel like it's like not working out super well. I was hoping that would be a uh, safe. I'm guessing straight up into the right. I have been told before that I am pretty good at a kid trunks voice, so I would believe it. Hi, Smash Brother. How you doing? Uh, let me see. Yeah, I, I think I need to go up here. Nice! I am correct. Good stuff. Alright, well, I feel like we're making pretty decent progress so far. It says we're already 23.5% exploration of the castle. Neat. You are correct, horse. Alright, we have been live for almost three hours. So, I'm gonna take a small break here, and I'm gonna stretch my legs, get myself some water. When we come back, we will have a couple more hours left in uh, this lovely, lovely video game, which uh, so far I'm enjoying and will probably play more of. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Squeege, like, I played all of Symphony of the Night. I've also played all of Super Metroid, Metroid Prime, Metroid Fusion, Hollow Knight. So I have several Metroidvanias under my belt. So I, I, it's like, if you look at the map structure, sometimes it's, it's easier to pick out where they'll place save points if you're a little more familiar with like general Metroidvania map design. And if you'll notice, a lot of them are pretty evenly spaced out, especially in the areas that aren't just really long hallways. Like I would guess that there's probably another save point. Uh... You see the middle of the map, there's probably another area that goes up and there's probably another save point there if it's not right above that room in the center. It's like got the big box and then the two smaller boxes to the right. 
Now, there's like that one on the bottom we've explored, but the one on the top we haven't. The one on the top might actually be a save point too. That's either a save point or some kind of item. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, that's another reason why I love Castlevania games and stuff. It's just, like, dude, once they really understand how to design the maps for Metroidvanias, they're so good. They're just fun to explore. And they're set up well enough to where you typically, if you do a good enough job exploring and you preemptively save when you know you're going to go do something dangerous, like explore a new area or go farm for something or fight a boss, then you don't tend to lose nearly as much progress. Um, you know, because you inevitably get cheesed by some enemy who decides to stand on top of you and stab you 14 times before you can move. <laughs> But okay, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick break here. Thank y'all for hanging out for Ari of Sorrow and the first day of my favorite month of the year. Don't go too far, or if you do, just come back because there will be more video games. <laughs>
Alrighty, I am back. Thank you so much for waiting. Hi. I got 
some water and I said hi to angry trees. Forgot where I was going. Oh yeah, I think I was just gonna go to the right first. Thank you for the welcome, Max. Oh my God, yeah, it's like mm -hmm. nice. Oh shoot, I can't go that way yet. I mean, to be fair, Mori, isn't that part of the fun? <laughs> Final Fantasy VI is a great game. That shit is not balanced. Also, I guess those dancers in the background are hurting me. Owie! My face. Oh, hello. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll go this way. Sure. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Hi, Nataki. How are you doing today? Nemesis! Da da da! Da 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 da! I love the idea of these. You remember a speed run of this game using a secret character and taking like five minutes to finish? <laughs> I think I might know what, what character, actually. Oh, neat. I found another gate. Um... Hey, chat. I have a quick question. Do I need to walk through this to activate it? Or is it activated just by me walking in the room? Ooh, Reese's ice cream. Nice. Do I plan on playing Bloodstained Ritual of the Night this Halloween? Not really. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Like, I've heard good things about Bloodstain, but I've also heard kind of, like, mediocre things about it. Whatever. I guess we'll just... We'll just, um... Are we dabbing? Oh, that's okay. Sorry. I was confused. I was like, why does it keep bringing up the map? <laughs> I'm used to Symphony of the Night where you just have to go through portal to, to get to the other portals. Yeah, but it, it looks like we're good to go. Cool. That's neat, actually. Also, hey chat, you want me to curse something for you? Guess what Soma has? A smiley face on his crotch. There it is. You're welcome. <laughs> to know you for the past year or so. I'm sorry to hear that you're leaving. 
Would you like to fill out a survey before you go? us today, Spoony Vision. <laughs> well, you see, Spoony ruined my childhood. <laughs> hey, Da, how are you doing? what was hurting me before. Uh, let's see, where even am I? I feel like I should go heal considering I took a bunch of damage. Oh cool, you can kill the ghost dancers, that's good. Spoonie made promise of nostalgia and fun, and instead she showed us that Soma has a smiley face crutch. Man, I can't wait. Like, if 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 Jack isn't here, I can't wait till he sees the vod. I can't I can't wait to get a Discord DM at like two o'clock in the morning asking me why. <gasps> oh no, that lady had dropped an armor and I missed it. Oh well. That's my punishment, I guess. Not getting armor. Yeah, if you think it's bad when I ruin your childhood, just wait till I ruin your adulthood. <laughs> tell them about, uh, tell them about how much you love googly eyes there, Belle. You love googly eyes, don't you? You know, sometimes I really do wonder, though. Why do y'all put up with me? You could go anywhere. But this is the place that you have chosen. Why? <laughs> It looks fun. Reverse Hello. Wait, where, wait a minute. Weren't you a boss before? Weren't you a boss? I feel like that guy was a boss before. Ah, yes. Well, you know, you do need to have your daily dose of bartery. It's true. Emotionless poetry, how are you? Wow, that guy's made of wood. Wow, he likes punching and kicking. I gotta admit, I was not expecting that. Dang, fries are done. Dang, fries are done. 
Soma's gotta run, Soma's gotta run. One on gums are kicking my ass now. I am running out of HP. I am running out of HP. Please stop sitting on me. Wait, don't I have items? I do have items. Wow, well, I'm silly. Oh my god. I also, because I switch buttons like two hours into playing the game, now my brain is trying to readjust. Hey, Ultimate Hero. Hey, Silver. How are y'all doing, by the way? Ooh, mesmerize your enemies. Now that's barding. You can't even wrap your head around why the artist thought those pixels were necessary. Well, the truth is, Hamas, he's like an emo kid that has like a belt chain thing on the side of his jeans. <laughs> That's what it really is. I've just turned it into something worse. And as a fellow emo kid, I totally get that. I'm just going to ruin it. Generally, you can use this to fall asleep on a weekday. No, that doesn't sound bad to me, Dev. And that doesn't sound bad to me at all. I mean, quite frankly, like anytime anybody says they find my stream a cozy enough place to fall asleep, first I'm like, holy shit, really? Because I scream a lot, so I'm surprised that doesn't wake you up. <laughs> and then I'm usually, uh, you know, flattered. Because the things that I fall asleep to are, like, watching the same sitcom that Angry Trees and I have seen, like, 30 times. Because it comforts my anxiety. Because I know what happens. But, like, those are things that I really enjoy that I fall asleep to. So I'm like, man, that's, that's a high compliment to me. Yeah, and I know for EST, I also stream really late. Oh, Tyree can't sleep. I'm sorry to hear that, Silver. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I hope, do hope you get some rest soon. Let's see. Mm. So, basically, I need to go back left and then down. And I literally did the same thing that I did before. Jumping while taking damage restores health? That is weird. That's weird. Uh... Wow, that decreases my attack by a lot. I just like the base increase to strength. <gasps> Yo, lugs! Getting ye flask. Can we get some hype in the chat? What's inside your flask, friend? Shay, how are you doing? Hi, Dark Eagle. How are you? Good to see ya. I'm trying to decide. I feel like, because there may not be a save point down there, I feel like I should probably go restore my health. Because <laughs> I have once again taken a lot of damage and I didn't really buy healing. <laughs> 
Imagine buying a healing item, y'all. Imagine. It's true, you only need one health to survive. The last health. That's the one that matters. You're doing good. I'm glad to hear that, Shay. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Alright, let's go reverse uppy. And immediately get stabbed in the foot. Egg! Castlevania Lario of Sorrow is one of my favorite games. Hope you're enjoying it, Swoony Bard. I am! I am enjoying it. It's really good. I'm taking a lot of damage again, but it's fine. Don't worry about that. Dark Eagle, thank you for 10 months. Welcome back. I appreciate that. Yo, we leveled. Skippity doodah. <laughs> Hi, Repo Man. Uh, I'm playing the Switch version right now, but I'm really enjoying it. This is my first time actually playing Ari of Sorrow. Ooh, throws sharpened butcher knives. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to take a look at that. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's like the knife. Why does it make such a silly sound? Nah. <laughs> no, I'll pass on that, thanks. Ugh, and I can't get, I can't get this. You're trying to get a date, but you think she might be avoiding? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Shay. It's always a bummer when you're like interested in somebody, but they aren't quite as interested in you. Although I suppose it is possible that, you know, like she could technically be busy, but I don't know. I'm probably also not the best to give advice for that because um, I haven't been in the dating arena for like 12 years. When Angry Trees and I started dating, Tinder didn't exist. <laughs> so I don't know shit about it anymore. But I hope whatever happens it works out. And know that, as always, you were worth someone who was equally interested. Stab that man. So far, my strategy is usually just like this. That's my strat. Uh, hang on. What? Ooh, maybe this might be a safe room over here if we're lucky. Yay! I was right. It's a save point. Four for four. Here you go, bud. Oh, I'm glad too, Dark Eagle, because the Game Boy Advance Castlevanias were really skyrocketing in price. I think they were, each of the carts were going for like 80 to 100 bucks. I don't even know. A lot of retro games have really gone up and like that's one of the reasons why I hadn't played the Game Boy Advance Castlevanias is they were so expensive. <laughs> and now for 20 bucks, I can get all of them. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> And also now they're like scaled properly so that they don't look like butt on my giant 25 inch TV. And yeah, I know 25 inches is not really that giant, but whatever. be able to do that if I'm worried about you chilling chilling back there and like chewing on my pillows. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm hoping they come back down soon, Dark Eagle. They, some of that was definitely market manipulation by assholes. Uh, yeah, yeah, there were a lot of, like, kind of shady grading companies and stuff popping up. And... It's a whole thing! I just, I really hope that prices come back down to something that most people can reasonably afford soon. Okay, actually, this strat might work. It's hitting him twice. That's kind of dope. He's just chucking rocks out of his mouth. Weird. Everybody, let me hurt you. <laughs> Spooky season. Oh, damn it. You gotta get, like, in a really good spot to do that. How much freaking health does this dude have? Oh, okay. He's dead now. That's fine. Yay! I win! Welcome to the Bone Zone. That's what we're gonna title this playthrough. Is Welcome to the Bone Zone. <laughs> I'll go all the ACU you back there. Hello. Yeah, I, I haven't bought a retro game in a really long time because of the price being so much. But yeah, I think the bubble will burst soon. Weird. Skeleton blaze. Slide by pressing down an A. Ooh. Why does that sound like a nuclear explosion? <laughs> There's like at least a couple of places that I know of that we can go to now. Hi, Ollie. Don't mind me. I've had to do this with Ollie for like, I don't know, three weeks straight. Also, apparently you can slide into enemies, which is cool. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but... Good God, are you serious? E6 Dragon Quest 8 is $250? How much 
to Xeno Gears now. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how much the PS2 version is. I think that's the one I have. I definitely don't have the, um, I don't have the DS version. Excuse me, Ollie. I'm coming for ya. Boop, 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 boop. Damn. Hi, Timelines, how are you doing? So we could induce over 300 bucks still, yeah. I do not, I don't think I have a copy of that one. Did I? I think I had Suikid in one. I have one of them. I don't remember which one. I think I, I think I only have one. I played Suikid in two on my PS TV. Trying to remember where there was more stuff I can get to with sliding. This is where my memory is gonna start failing me, because I just don't have a very good memory. Uh, there is that, which looks like more punchy. Also, I apologize, but, um, Ollie, I love you. Could you please stop that? You're kind of driving me bonkers. Well, Ollie, how would you feel if. <laughs> if you were me. Probably not super great about it. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna get, what are these, probably kunai? Stabbies? I don't know. Go, yeah, I'll go stand on her perch, see how she likes it. did a DS collection. I know a lot of people are going to want uh, Dawn of Sorrow as well. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go save. And then we're going to go keep exploring. Yeah, I've heard the Diaz Castlevanias are really good. The only thing I would be worried about with Dawn of Sorrow is that you have to draw stuff, and I'm not very good at that. I'm not very good at following along with drawing patterns as games want me to. Hi. 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 Hello. You can sit on my knee if you want. Those are your options, buddy. Those are your options, buddy chum pal friend. You may sit on your perch, or you may sit on my knee. Mm -hmm. Those are your two options. Yeah, those are them. Those are the options. Yeah, there's like this long hole. Oh yeah, and there is there is actually an area we can get to from there. I wonder if that just connects. I guess we'll find out. That's exactly what she does, Cody, and then she leans herself forward to try to bite my keyboard. This is my life. <laughs> what are you doing, Ollie? I love you. You're making it very hard to play a video game. <laughs> you just hit me in the head. Not very nice. We can't always get what we want, Ollie. I'm 
sorry. I know that's frustrating. Inner quarters. Ah, uh, Persephone, the combat maid. All right, uh, we have like a combat maid. Got it. Okay, so this goes to a completely different area, so I think I'm actually gonna come back here in a second. Uh, I'm gonna come back here after I explore what's Uppy, because I feel like Uppy is probably some kind of cool hidden stuff that I can now access. Thank you for the 100 bitties. Hi, how are you? Hi, Nerali. <laughs> Broly, I'm sorry. Your name is Nerali now. You've made it so. Hi, Brawly. How are you doing? <laughs> this is my first time playing Aria Sorrows. I picked up the, uh, the Game Boy Advance collection on Switch. It's pretty great so far. How are you? <laughs> it's a good game. I like it very much. My bird is uh, making it difficult to play, but I am having a good time. She's trying to bite my keyboard. Uh-uh, Ollie. No, excuse you. Hey. No, step up. No, we don't get to be naughty and try to pull off mom's left control key. No. I don't think so. You're a little stinker. <laughs> She's literally, she's literally leaning towards my keyboard, being like, Mom, I want, I want to bite that. <laughs> no, and now you're trying to snip at me? I don't think so, ma'am. I don't think so. That's not how we act. Here, go back. Yeah, you can go back over there if you're going to try to snip at me and my keyboard. I don't think so. That's an interesting horse statue. Oh my god! It's a waiter! Wait! Who do I look like? A waiter? One of your cats likes to try and gnaw on your fingers. Oh man. Only played it once. It's super good. You love that they did this collection. Yeah! I was actually talking about Brawly uh, earlier. How it's really nice because I've been wanting to play the Game Boy Advance games. But you know me. I, I like you prefer to get a hold of the original cart if it's possible. But the original cart of these are like $80 each. So I'm like, eh. I don't really have $80 to throw at a single cart. Unless it's like Chrono Trigger, except for, you know, they want $300 for Chrono Trigger now, so. Not happening. So I'm very, very happy that I can now pay $20 and play this anyway. A hundred dollars. This is the corner of one hundred dollars. <laughs> That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. Lied. Killing for a hundred dollars. 
You managed to get all the Game Boy Advance cards for those. Oh, for these when they were a little more reasonable. Yeah. It's. I wish I had. I wish that I had thought to buy them early. <laughs> You can get me a lime green card for 15 bucks on eBay that's 100% real. What a steal! Oh, okay, that's what these do. This is an awful room, I hate it. Flea man, there's like five flea mans and a Catolomus. I hate it. Flea man's the worst. Welcome to the Bone Zone! I swear, the other ones that I fought didn't do this nearly as much. Oh my goodness. Can I even get up there? I don't even know if I can get up there right now. Maybe from the other, no, huh. Yeah, I actually don't think I can get up there yet. I don't think that I can jump high enough. Flea Man's everyone's favorite Castlevania monster. <laughs> That's a good joke. That's a, a good joke you got there. You're very funny, Dark Eagle. <laughs> that I'm hungry. You bought the collection mainly to play Circle of the Moon as you've been contemplating getting a card for it recently, but you've got a 100% Aria first. Hell yeah. That's getting all the souls and stuff too, right? Uh, out of curiosity, hey chat, is there a way to see if you've gotten all the souls, like, if you just, like, look at the list, or is there exactly the amount of spaces or something? No, there's no way. Because, like, there's only one blank space. Oh, okay, there's, like, an enemy list. That makes sense. I don't think I plan on 100%ing this. Because typically, if I say that I'm going to 100% a Metroidvania, I kind of burn myself out after a while. That's cool, though. The enemy list tells you. Nice. Alright. Full health. I will continue on to the right side over there. Yeah, um, Circle of Moon using cards sounds really, really cool. And I want it. I want to play that. Oh yeah, that makes sense, E6, because like if you've played the game before, then yeah, you probably do know a few tricks and tips for how to get things a little bit easier. Definitely a plus. Like, you know, when I originally got the 200.6% map completion for Symphony of the Night, I beat the game several times in the same save. And then I went, you know what? I do kind of want to find the rest of the stuff. I'd be happy with getting a lot of map completion, honestly. That's probably gonna be my main goal, is getting most of the map completion. Get up there. Hmm. Ow. 
stabbing me. Stop, stop stabbing me. Rude. Uh, oh, Arya feels the closest to Sem to me, but Circle of the Moon's a fun and unique experience. In your opinion, Harmony of Dissonance is the weakest, but you think it has the most fun movement? That's fair. What? I hate that. excuse to use the evil butcher thing. Oh my god, it literally goes over his head. Fork this. <laughs> That's bullshit! Why does it go over his head? That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Can I mesmerize it? You like, you like dolls? <laughs> Did you know the character Soma Cruz was definitely 100% named for the 2003 Chevy Cruise and this is definitely not snowman making a dumb cheer. Okay, something tells me that based on the fact that I don't seem to even be able to hit him with things, that I can't go this way yet. Snowman, thank you for the 250 bitties. Hi. How are you doing? <gasps> Hi, Koo. Go. <laughs> Trump's really trying to get me to buy that gun. I don't even think Hammer had a gun yet. Oh, hey, a save point. Doodly doodly doo 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 you're relaxing after work. Maybe you'll play Tales of Arise. That sounds lovely. Ooh, also, I can get up here. Okay. I can also go fight a boss, I guess. Welcome to the Bone Zone! Biatch! do to this lady is just stand here and she's just running away how is this a boss exactly oh okay there's more to it i'm like this doesn't seem correct oh you're a wizard now harry Yeah. 
Okay, now you have a lizard head. What? Uh, okay, suddenly Mass Effect. Cheese corner. Give me the cheese corner. Give me the cheese corner. Licking things, not fan. Hey, he dropped a soul, collects souls to increase strength. Ooh, spiffy. Beach Biffy. Interesting. This actually it gives me a little less attack and strength, but it actually does increase my constitution and in defense. Who doesn't lick things? Um I don't know, things without tongues. <laughs> I'm gonna go save. You don't even know my real name! I'm the effing Lizard King! Birds. What? Uh, fun fact though, birds have tongues. Ollie has a tongue. <laughs> How many bosses have I fought now? Ooh, booby witch lady. Bye. Shadow, thank you for joining us. You rest well. <gasps> Is that a Valkyrie lady? I wanna steal her soul. I wanna steal her soul. I want it. I want that soul. Give me that soul. Give me this soul. Give me your soul, lady. Uh, is this woman peeing into that? I don't wanna, I don't wanna stand in that. Hi, Ollie. Hey. You know the deal. No the deal. You can't. No, you can't sit there. Let's do something. Those fireballs hurt. <laughs> Those are ouchy. Oh, I see. Oh, I literally just came back the way that I originally came from. Whoops. Well, I might as well take the opportunity to restore my health. Hi, Chrono. How are you doing? No, those witches don't turn into cats. How long did you 
Mr. Spin Soul Farming Trap. perch out in the living room because she is being very naughty right now yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna have to put you out in the living room ollie yeah you're being a toot you're being a toot you can come back in a little bit but only after you calm down a little okay you want to go out there and calm down for a little bit? Watch your sister take a nap. Ooh, okay, one sec, y'all. In your latest playthrough you're 11 hours in and already oh my god already half the souls nice trying to go. There's like... How do I... How do I get over there? Because there's a wall here. Maybe I missed something over on the bottom right. Oh, well, yeah. There's that fountain. I'm like almost dead though. <laughs> I'm almost dead. We everything in this area hits really hard. Yeah, I don't I don't know that I'm supposed to really come this way yet. Or I think I'm I have decided that maybe I'm not going to come this way yet. I'm like literally on the verge of death here. Damn. Ooh, a skull necklace. tells me that I'm supposed to do something in this room that has to do with that. Or, oh, okay, or that guy could literally try to effing stab me! Far Chrono. If you're a fan of Castlevania, um, I, I would recommend it. It feels similar to Symphony of the Night, but there's enough differences. And the whole soul system is really cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, all right. I think uh, I'm gonna go away. Oh yeah, everything in this castle definitely wants to kill us. No question. Rogue on day to come. Hi, Roga. How are you doing? Do, do. Oh, yeah. I was going to see what this uh, skull necklace does. Eerie looking necklace. Okay. It just increases defense. I haven't gone this way, apparently. Oh, wait, duh, that's cause that, that's the freaking rabbit jerk face. Okay. I think it might be about time to go use that teleporter. What? You could trade souls in the Game Boy Advance version? What a cool concept. <laughs> I'm also upset that I don't seem to, um... be able to get up here. There's got to be some kind of jump mechanic that I don't have. Makes sense, because honestly, everything here hits me like a friggin' truck. So, I think this area is a little bit over our heads right now. You'll trade me one Valkyrie for ten bones. I don't even have a Valkyrie trap. Is that what you farm for, like, an hour? I also vaguely remember you farming these minotaurs, maybe? <laughs> Hi, Goron! <laughs> How are you doing today? You did come at a good time. I mean, to be fair, every time's a good time when it's Castlevania. You'll trade me a brick for two wood. No deal, Gary can't. Also, hey, Jay, are you an exorcist? Soma was wondering. He asked earlier and you didn't answer. All right, I'm gonna go to the front area first. And I'm gonna buy some stuff for Pamela. pretty well. You just finished watching Kubo and the Two Strings. Oh, I heard that was really good. I still haven't seen it. I want to watch that. See, I don't see a gun. worth it actually like I don't want the land 
plants all. Gym clothes? I don't want some of these old dirty gym clothes. There's a few different places that I could try to explore, and I just have to figure out where I want to start with that. That would be funny if you could throw the gym clothes. <laughs> Take my stinky old gym clothes, Mr. Zombie! Yeah, that'll show you. Not to mess with me, Soma, legendary high school student. I'm gonna go ahead and save since we bought a few things. Cover our health, no big deal. Oh, and oh, you got home from work real good? Tired, otherwise good. I'm glad to hear it. All right, so we just want to go straight. That sounds like an earthbound kind of thing, Chaos, to replace deconfusion items with stinky socks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was one of the spots where I was like, oh no, I can't jump that far. Oh no, oh no, no, no. I still not get up there? Fork. Oh man, I still can't get up there. That sucks. All right, well this place is still not accessible then. I tried. So that leaves us with going very uppy. So that's what we'll do. We will go super heckin' uppy, so uppy that they won't know what uppy chucking them. That's nonsense, and it doesn't matter. Thank you for hanging out today, by the way. I'm digging Ario Saro so far. What other, like, 
kind of spooky-ish games might you want to see this month? I don't know, I'm just kind of like feeling, feeling spooky. Ooh, there is a place up here that I might be able to double jump to see. spooky theme though. Also, I feel like I've heard of Tormented Souls, but I can't remember what it is. I do want to try Road 96. That seemed really good. It's a new game. It's kind of a homage to old school RE and Silent Hill. That's cool. I was thinking about playing through Dead Space again. knock it up here. Why? Why are we so short? I hate it. All the places I thought I could double jump, I freaking can't. this direction, I guess. so much that I don't really have an interest in playing it casually. And I do own RE8, and I I think I'd like to eventually play it. I haven't played it yet. Yeah, if only we were like six foot four like Alucard, then this wouldn't be an issue. The Kappa attack on the Sega Genesis? It's a mummy that picks up different monsters' heads and throws them like a boomerang. That sounds hilarious. Uh, I don't know, Chaos. What kind of humor is it? Nope, I've never played Devil May Cry. Funario of Sorrow fact number 245 Soma Cruz did not play for Tokyo High School's high jump team. No, I don't think he did. I can't even get that sword. I can't even get that hacking sword. maybe a slidey place over here somewhere? I don't remember. There was something over here I didn't go to. Thank you, Snowman, for the 250 bitties. Maybe this was the one I was thinking of that I could actually access. Maybe. No? Oh, I guess I must have just died and never came back this way. Oh, 
Oh, it's a game about saving your girlfriend from the underworld after it's really kidnapped her that is just half dick jokes. I mean, I can see how that's probably funny. I feel like I would get tired of it after a while though. Ollie says, beat me. Oh, I can't even pick that up. I have too many potions. Okay, I guess we're gonna go more this way. Egg! There's also after party where you drink the devil under the table. <laughs> Mr. Chia, thank you so much for four months. Welcome back, I appreciate that. Yeah, and I, I haven't played Bloodstained yet, Astro, and somebody did mention it earlier. I don't know why, but I've been like weirdly torn about trying it because I've heard such like mixed things about it. I've heard some people absolutely love it and then other people found it kind of lacking. And I guess I, I'm like worried that I'll end up falling in a ladder camp and then I'll be like not only sad about it but then I feel like I'll be disappointing people which I know is really silly all right maybe I can actually get somewhere up here now Maybe I can get somewhere here. Oh my god, Chaos. Actually, I've never finished Folklore. My sister had a copy of that game when we were younger. And we never figured out how to beat it. I, I didn't actually have a copy of the game, but a Chris store sent me a copy of Folklore because he had heard me talk about it one time before. Fun fact, my sister was actually here when I opened it, so I was able to squee about it with her on stream. I mean, she wasn't like physically here, but she was in the chat. Is there a gap here? No. <laughs> Oh, I found a bamboo sword though. That's interesting. Oh, you you loved it? It was only lacking for you in that you didn't figure out something and you spent like 10 hours, oh, just running around like hugging walls. So there were a lot of grinding and then you curb stomp the rest. But some people do that on purpose so your mileage may vary. That's fair. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. I didn't think about Schwartz that um, when Bloodstained first came out, I knew several people that had like performance issues. So maybe that's kind of like subconsciously clouding my judgment of it. Folklore is high up on the list of if only anyone I know streamed this. Yeah, I'm kind of, I don't know, like, I hate chat, out of curiosity, how many of you have heard of the PS3 game Folklore? Loving a lot of the same games as me, you can't fathom me outright disliking it, yeah. Yeah, you're probably right, Brawly. We do tend to have a lot of very similar interests in games. Okay, maybe not. Oof. Oh, there we go. Hey, Missing Mouse, how are you doing? I can't carry any more of those. Um, okay, so I guess all that I really missed up here were just items. Well, and exploration. Get exploration credit. 
Oh, a character gave you a hint that went way, way over your head. <gasps> Raleigh, out of curiosity, was it something that was really simple, but you took to be far too complicated? Because I do that all the hecking time. I like try to galaxy brain something that's super simple, and then I miss it for five hours. <laughs> I... Sounds familiar? Never played it, it seemed fun. Well, I can't promise you that I'll beat it, Chaos, but I have wanted to stream folklore, so I, I will definitely consider that. Because it seems like a lot of people have never seen it. I just I just can't promise you that I'll beat it because I remember it being pretty complicated. And hard. But that may have just been because I was younger and worse at video games. But I love mythology and dark themed kind of mythology stuff, so... Oh yeah, I don't expect my computer to have issues running bloodstain. I just meant like, oh, maybe that's something that my brain sort of subconsciously, so subconsciously absorbed. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like I had consciously forgotten that that was a thing that people mentioned to me, but my brain still remembered, oh, a negative thing and just sort of latched onto the feeling of that rather than the specific fact of, oh, maybe it wasn't optimized super well at the beginning, but they fixed it. I don't like taking a test and believing the questions are trying to trick you, that it ends up, oh yeah, being the really obvious answer. Yeah. Feels known, man. Feels known. Hmm. There's a square over here that... be from that other room or something. Yeah, I'm glad to hear they fixed the performance issues, though. That's great. Oh, yeah. And I, I wouldn't... Uh, I definitely wouldn't go into Bloodstain expecting for it to be a perfect game. Because I feel like... Playing any game with the expectation that it's going to be perfect is really just asking to dislike the game. It's it's just asking to be disappointed. Because, you know, a lot of my favorite games, they definitely have flaws. Like Final Fantasy IX, for example, is my favorite game in the entire world. But I also completely understand why some people can't get into it. Uh, the system of equipping different items and learning your passive abilities and even your non-passive abilities from those items by getting like AP points. If you've never played an RPG before or you don't realize that that's what's going on, then your characters are going to suck and you're gonna die and it will not be fun. If you were looking for something that's super serious, and, you know, doesn't have an angry Steiner in it, then maybe you'll be disappointed. Also, the card game, I didn't really have fun with. It's kind of needlessly complicated, in my opinion. About the only game that I've ever given, like, a 10 out of 10 on my own personal scale is Hollow Knight. <laughs> And even then, like, I don't know if I would go so far as to say, that, like, I for me, like, a 10 out of 10 doesn't even necessarily mean it's perfect. It just means that I can't think of anything that bothered me personally about it. Like, the, there, there was not a single thing that was annoying for me or unfun. And that's, that's including the fact that I got super annoyed about getting stuck in the Crystal Mines area because I went there before getting the Lantern. Because I'm like, that's on me. That had nothing to do with Hollow Knight. That was me being a dumbass. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to figure out... Ah. Oh, okay. Huh. 
that? Oh, shoot. I can't make that jump. So wait, where the hell am I supposed to go? Hmm. I definitely am starting to feel like I'm missing something here. Spoopy, not, but it's a scary game if I like to goblin out and harvest. I saw like uh, you and also Dee Dee and I think Fire Crow have all been playing it. Are you liking it a lot so far? I have, I've somewhat considered picking up a copy. Frank, all that is is a coin, so. Yo, I'm a bit puzzled at the moment. Chupon, how are you doing today, by the way? just like I I'm kind of running out of ideas because it feels like all the places I tried I couldn't quite jump up that high <laughs> I don't think I've even touched that board. Every time I look at it, it's just kind of ridiculous. gather craft and only fight when animals attack you completely viable that's cool i'm glad it's open to different play styles i'm also really curious hmm. it doesn't seem like having multiple souls is really affecting me at the moment but i feel like that might come into play later Also, I may take you up on that E6, although I do see, I see a potential area that I did not go to near the beginning. There's a, there's a, there's a way to go down that I didn't go, so maybe I'll check that out. I feel like maybe that's the ticket. If 
that doesn't work though, then I might be stuck and have to ask. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Y'all know me, I'm pretty stubborn. Okay, so I'm gonna take the portal because that'll be a lot faster to get down there. It's actually not far from the portal. Oh my lord. <laughs> Excuse me, Soma, stop hitting your head on stuff. Thanks. Okay, so we're gonna come back to this first area. You me stubborn. That's definitely not one of my defining traits, Bear Stage. Hi, how are you doing? It's a mix of AAA harvesting and crafting and sweaty PvP. Uh, is there any way to not do PvP? <laughs> at all you can oh you can even like help out your pvp faction and never actually fight other people that's super cool that's good to hear because guess who hates pvp it's me spoony <laughs> hi i hate pvp i just i don't like it i'm not a pvp girl So, there's a little section down here where I didn't actually go down all the way. And I think that maybe that's where I need to be going. Yeah, like, I, I absolutely love goblin mode, like, gathering and crafting and stuff. But I'm just not in a PvP. There's also that little section. But I'm not sure why that shows like dark blue. Hates PvP but will murder you and golf with friends. I mean, that's kind of different. Also, all right, you got to admit, Brawly, Day with Wig is different vibes, all right? That's every guy, gal, and non-binary pal for themselves. I also just realized that the reason why I didn't go here before is that it's underwater. Fudge. Hmm. So there's all these areas I don't seem to be able to quite jump to. And there's an area with a bunny rabbit that reverses time on me. Doing pretty good, not usually up this late. I'm glad to hear you're doing pretty good. Used to enjoy PvP Hurricane 40, but as you've gotten older, you've lost your taste for it. Yeah, I think it's just, I don't know. I also feel like in a PvP game where like, I don't know, let's say you can lose resources, for example. Spending like five hours gathering all these resources and then immediately losing them to some dude who comes up and stabs you in the back and now you have to spend another five hours that sucks <laughs> like i know i play video games for a living so i have the opportunity to play games probably a lot more than uh, some folks do, but I still don't want to do that. Like, I still don't want to gather all that stuff and then have to do it again. Just because I am spending, like, eight hours a day playing games doesn't mean that I want to have wasted half that time. Mm 
Yeah, I'm cool with PvP in controlled areas, because then I get to choose whether or not I want to do it. If you're gonna PvP, you play Sea of Thieves. Yeah, Sea of Thieves PvP is a little more fun. Although, I start to get high levels of anxiety when I have a lot of treasure on board and I see another ship. <laughs> You love getting sweaty for PvP. It's one of the reasons why you want a new world, but you haven't even touched it. Oh, wow. The, like, really? The leveling and harvesting? Is that good? Andy, yeah! Yeah, I was kind of asking about how folks are liking new world. I haven't played it yet. I mean, for me, I do unwind with games. Uh, lately, Hypnotoad, um, well, actually, like, the past several months, I've been playing the Burning Crusade classic with Angry Trees. So we usually play that together. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I'm feeling a little stumped right now. I think mostly because I'm, I'm also trying to remember, like, did I actually try, try all of the grade out rooms? Do I have any interest in big raids? Uh, you mean like MMO raiding rash? I actually do raid in Burning Crusade Classic. new again. Yeah, I, I can get that feeling in me for sure. I actually, Angry Trees and I picked up um, WoW Classic when it very first came out and we played it for a few weeks. We got to like level 40 and then we just stopped. don't have to raid to get fun out of an MMO. It really just depends on the kind of content you specifically are looking for. Right now, Hurricane 40, I think I'm still being too stubborn to ask. <laughs> but th thank you so much for asking before just like going into it. I super appreciate that. Um, I have like a keyword that I try to use whenever I want some help. I'll yell out, hey chat. Uh, usually if I say hey chat then it's cool to answer the question but otherwise I tend to just like babble and think out loud because it's a lot better than me staring at my camera in silence <laughs> yeah yeah we do have a guild rush we actually we ran um, we ran like a really tiny guild with some family members and a few of the bards for when phase one first came out and we did all of Kara, actually. We did that for several weeks. But, um, you know, folk centrists change and wane, and we didn't have enough people to go do 25 man, so it's like after a while just running Kara, I think kind of burned people out. Oh, how are you liking Diablo 2 Resurrected? You love my stream and you'll never try to help me again. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. You're, I mean, you're always welcome to sit back and giggle at my misery as I can't figure out how the hell to do stuff. <laughs> One time, I was 
spent like 40 minutes uh, running in a circle around the same bush in A Link to the Past, not realizing that I could slash it and then fall in a hole and get to a new part of that dungeon. Although I feel like at this point, I might, I, I don't know, I might want like a hint though, because it, like maybe not like a direct like, oh, go here and do this, but like there's just so many different places to go and I feel like I've tried most of them, but I also feel like there's probably one path that I just can't like pick out which one of those I haven't tried. There's probably something small and missing, I feel like. Oh, you're playing all old school games on your Switch. Nice, Indy. Congrats on beating Zelda 1. That's awesome. D2R is the game looking on screen how it is in your head. Oh, that makes perfect sense. I, I mean, I have seen it. I haven't gotten to play it myself, but I have seen it and it looks beautiful. It looks like what I remember it being when I played it with my brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that would be good. Uh, hey chat, I guess E6 said they, they have a, a hint for maybe like an idea of where I can go next because I'm, I'm a little, little stumpy. Woof. Okay, so it is uppy. <laughs> it is uppy then. So I need to figure out how the hell to get to the roof. Are you okay, Hypnoto? <laughs> I'm sorry, that question just fucking made me laugh. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I don't I don't understand in what universe that is true. But what? I don't know, do you think even Capcom's mad at Nintendo for having Mario? I don't know. <laughs> no, I highly doubt that. I feel like Castlevania and Metroid helped elevate each other. And combined, they have made this genre one of my favorites. Yeah, I guess I'll go back to the beginning here. without Hollow Knight. Unacceptable. Yeah, yes, Angry Trees? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <gasps> yeah, Lugia, 
actually didn't know the, the guy's whole name, but I have heard the term Igavania or Igavania before. And that's one thing I actually love about the Castlevania games like this, is the RPG elements. And that's why, for a very young Spoonie, they were much more approachable, I think, than Metroid games. Because young Spoonie played a lot of RPGs, so she was already familiar with the concept of leveling. So then when it came to being able to level up to make the game a little bit easier, um, that was really nice for me in the past. That was super nice for me. I mean, I feel like this one's the closest. You personally prefer the more Metroid-inspired ones, but the Yuvanias are great too. Yeah! I think for me, it really depends on what kind of mood I'm in. You never played any Zelda games until after playing many Metroidvania-style games, so then when you started playing <laughs> Zelda games, they're almost all Metroidvania games, too. A little bit, yeah, because, like, you go around, you collect items, uh, you know, you gain more health. I do occasionally call a uh, younger Spoonie the Tea Spoonie. Also, dude, I don't know why, but my thumb is like really, really hurting. So I think I'm, I think I'm gonna have to find a save point and call it. Like I don't know why, but I'm gonna have to maybe use a different controller. Something about this one I think is really not working for me for the button scheme. I would love it if they remade Zelda 2. Because <laughs> I feel like that game gets uh, a lot of shit. And it's because it's like not super... Like it's pretty vague. But if they were to, you know, add some modern quality of life things to Zelda 2, I think a lot more people could enjoy it. Um, it's just a standard pro controller. I don't... And it, what's weird is that pro controllers don't usually hurt my hand. I don't know why this one is today. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm just gonna... Go ahead and save here, and I think we'll pick this up. I don't know, maybe we'll play somewhere tomorrow? Wait. What? Metroid? What the fuck? When you were playing Metroid Prime, some dude came in and said that Prime's not in Metroidvania? Yo, they had to be fucking trolling, right? Like... <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, buddy. <laughs> Metroid Prime is definitely... Definitely a Metroidvania. <laughs> anyway. People are silly. <laughs> All right, y'all, we've been live for almost five hours. Uh, for some reason, this like muscle right here in my thumb is absolutely killing me. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night here. <laughs>